Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is just going to be a rundown of Echo's training and then we're going to talk a little bit about other methods of training which we could have used and we're also going to give you guys a couple of tips that will hopefully help with your dog training and they cover all sort of dog training and not just sheep dog training but they're definitely tips that have helped me along my way. So let's get into the video guys. But just before we get started guys, I wanted to say Happy New Year and I realise there's a couple of sound issues in this video and we are working on it. So just bear with us. Oh wee! Come on! Oh wee! Let's first look at um, how Echo's training has been progressing. So obviously when we last looked what we were on was running him by himself and getting him used to those directional commands to come by away as well as training in uh, the lie down command and uh, such other basic commands. Come by. Good boy. Away. Come by. Good boy. Here, 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 here. Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we? Good boy. Lie down, lie down, lie down. Hey, come by. Good boy. Here, 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 here. Lie down. Lie down. Good boy. Come by. Come by. Come by. Owie! Owie! Lie down! Hey, 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 hey! Come by! Uh, are we? Are we? Are we? Lie down! No! Are we? Come by! Come by! Come by! Come by! So as we're doing these training sessions, uh, we're watching and we're assessing what we're gonna have to work on next. So we can see Echo is quite tight to the sheep a lot of the time. He's often splitting off sheep because he's not going in a wide arc. Uh, and some of his positioning is a little bit off, which is just an experience. So we're gonna reintroduce uh, a second dog, which will be Storm. And uh, we're going to focus on teaching the correct way to herd and trying to get more width um, on the directional commands. So what we'll start doing is pretty much the same thing with the second dog given the second dog which will be Storm the commands uh, and she'll take those commands properly which Echo will watch and follow. Are we? Are we? Come by. Are we? Are we? Shh. Are we echo? As well as this, we also want to look at adding width to Echo's outrun and uh, sort of almost adding completion to it because uh, when the sheep are at a distance, Echo seems to stop on his outrun when he becomes level with the sheep instead of going the entire way around the back to where he should be. So him following an, another dog will make him follow them the whole way around which will hopefully get that idea in his head and in this he improved fairly quickly um, the first outrun he did where he would normally stop and undercut the sheep but then after that he got the idea of going the entire way around the sheep and in this video is Come a on. really good example of Echo stopping short on his outrun Echo, come by! Echo, 
and in are these we... videos we see he goes a lot farther around the sheep closer to where the right position would be are we are we are we are we Walk on, Echo! Walk on! Shh. And we've also been doing some lessons in more of a driving situation where we've been practicing control. Um, really, this is helping Storm a lot as well. As we move into the time where most of our sheep are pregnant, we don't want to put very much pressure on them at all while we're moving them we really want them to move at a really canny pace so this is good for her as well but we've also been making storm move sheep at a very slow pace where she's just putting enough pressure on them just to get them to move but not putting lots of pressure on or moving too fast and this is also going to teach echo the sort of fine balance of pressure and putting the right amount of pressure on and what position to be in when putting on pressure and you'll see um at the beginning of this video he sort of stays out in the distance i by the end of the video he's quite cl close and helping contribute to that pressure to moving that herd down the fence line <laughs> Wait, storm, away, Shh. away. Wait, 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 storm, away. Lie down. Walk on. Wait, wait, wait. Echo away. Shh. Away, Echo. Lie down. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Away. Away. Good boy. Away. Shh. Hey, hey. Storm. Not loose. Away. Lie down. Lie down. Walk on. Lie down. Here, 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 here. Hit the loop. Stormy, lie down. Lie down. Good dogs. Well done. Good dogs. Come on then, Stormy. Hit. Good girl. Good dog. What are you doing? So that's what we've been doing for Echo's training. Uh, but let's look at some of the other methods of training which is available. So we'll look at the first one of these, which is round pen training. So a round pen will look something like this with a group of sheep in the middle. So a young dog could either be on the outside or the inside of the fence. And because this pen is round and has no corners, the sheep will continuously move around the outsides of it, making it very easy to train these 
basic commands and the directional commands. Now when doing this ramp pen training, normally the handler will stand inside the pen and help the dog move the sheep around about the outsides of the pen to train these commands. The third training method we could use is the one that was used to train Storm, which is uh, basically the same as the training I'm doing with Echo, except we're not using a second dog to teach him. Instead, we're repeating commands from a very young age while the dog is already moving in that direction to build up the association with that direction uh, being that command. So I used this training method with Storm because uh, Storm has such high drive and it's not that the other dogs don't have high drive, it's Storm has an extreme amount of drive which makes her very teachable. Um, and it works for her a lot in a working and training sense. However, in it does mean she's a lot harder to handle in home life and uh, it takes a lot for Storm to switch her brain off, it's always on. So we'll have a look at a few of the clips uh, that I've got on my phone of when I was training Storm and you'll get a better sense of how that works. Walk on. Sit! Storm, come by. Storm that load. Come by. Come by. Good girl. Good girl. Walk on. Dog! Lalu, Lalu. Yeah, Lalu. Go, walk on. Storm, walk on. Walk on. Come by. Lalu. Lalu, Lalu, are we? Come by. So we can see in these videos uh, how Storm's natural drive and confidence meant she was doing things at a much younger age than Echo. Um, however, it's because Storm is so driven that that was possible. And you can see there, all it really is, is just me repeating words as she's doing things and building an association with the words that way. Um, as I say, it's really effective with uh, super high drive dogs, but with dogs like Echo that struggle with confidence, having a second dog there to help them build that confidence up um, is a much better way of training a dog like Echo that is, feels a a little bit less confident and is a little bit less driven. And guys, I'm gonna give you a couple of little tips uh, that should help with dog training. And the first one of those is obedience training is really everything. It gives you so much control and it's not something that's hard to train. It's not something you have to do long training sessions on. If you've got a couple of treats in your pocket, just ask your dog to do a couple of things to get those treats. And it's really that simple. And if you just make it a habit of any time you've got a spare second and doing something like that, uh, it really helps a lot with training. The second tip is try not to get too frustrated. If you get frustrated, the dog can feel that energy and the dog gets uh, frustrated. And that's not a good environment for learning. And the third tip I would give people is not to move on too quickly. Just because your dog has managed to do something a few times, it uh, doesn't mean you should move on. You should wait till the dog is doing it properly almost every time for quite a little while before moving on. And really cement those ideas in so that you're not having to go back all the time. Now it is good to go back sometimes with an older dog and uh, do basic training 
just to keep it fresh in their minds, but you don't want to have to go back every time because the dog isn't doing it correctly. And so guys, that brings us to the end of today's video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did like and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget we have merch, which the link will be in the bio. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.